a piston snap. When he throws that rear hand, boom, we move. Then I go to him. So now he's reacting. I, if I can hit him from here, the range is what? The range is? That. If I can hit him right from where I am, it's wrong. So he's waiting more than seeing a punch. He's seeing the precursor, which is this. Boom. Bam. And then we're back. And what will happen sometimes is you go, oh, I'm really, really close. And that's fast. You just you don't have to beat yourself. I just make a mental note. Okay, I was too close. What do I need to do? Or maybe I was at the right distance, but I'm kicking with the ball in the foot. So maybe I need to adjust the angle to get to the ball of the foot. Make sense? Oh, so now you're doing it with a little bit more of a dynamic movement. Boom. And you're trying to get those precursors up. Not looking for his hand. I'm going to just lunge into the same stance. Same stance. Oh. Need to be eight. Oh, that's the move. Everyone see what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, not so much the play. It's very one, two, right? One, two. One, two. So they're not going to be a giant gap in between. But if I'm looking for the fist, he may have already closed the distance that he needs. And then he gets me. So I'm looking more for, I know right now he can't hit me. When I feel like he can hit me, I need to do something with the range. Get off the angle, increase distance, move in. But if he, if he determines the distance, he's going to win. So we're, he's at a distance where he cannot hit me. When it changes, boom. Then I'll hit him. This? How's your name? 